What is going on, everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. I am so excited for today's episode because in today's episode, we're gonna be showing you how to get free strawberry plants from store-bought strawberries. This has been a much requested video ever since we did the how to get free blueberry plants from store-bought blueberries video. And I cannot tell you how many people have sent in pictures and videos of you holding up your tiny little blueberry plants and thanking me for that video. And so I'm just really glad you all enjoyed it. In fact, we've had probably hundreds of people send in pictures and videos. And it's just awesome of all ages of people trying this out and getting success. It was a ton of fun. And unfortunately, a lot of you wanted to see the blueberry plants we got from that. However, I made one time tiny mistake and instead I actually left for a vacation. We went to be uh, in my buddy's wedding and I left the baggie ziplocked in on the counter and I came back and everything was completely moldy because I left it out of my countertop and I would have had sprouts had I transplanted them out of the Ziploc bag into the soil but everything was moldy and it was just a total disaster. So I'm, I'm looking at redoing that one but Three months ago, Jeannie and I actually did a father-daughter project because I wanted to see what would happen if I took the seeds from a store-bought strawberry. We had some that had gone soft and I don't like really wasting things. So I'm like, you know what? It's not really gonna go to waste if I, if I do a cool experiment with it. And lo and behold, it actually sprouted. The seeds from the strawberry actually sprouted. We transplanted those sprouts. I'll see if I can find a picture. I know I took one a while back of the sprouts. I'll see if I can post it now if I can find it. So that's what they looked like when they first sprouted. And then I transplanted them into a growing medium and this is what they look like after three months. I know, they grow very, very slow. I'm really shocked at how slow they grow because I mean, strawberries in the garden grow very quickly, but this is what they look like after three months. And uh, I don't know necessarily if they're going to be able to be transplanted outside or not. The root system is, I mean, they're barely, I mean, they're just barely hanging on in here. Every time it, it gets above 85 degrees or so, they just wilt like crazy. So um, I might have to transplant them, but I'm not sure if they're gonna survive the winter. They might have to be like indoor strawberry plants because I don't think they're big enough to go in the garden, but it just shows that it is possible and I'm really excited. So I wanted to show you what I did because one of the biggest things with the blueberry video that I regret is filming the video and showing you how to do it, but then not having results to show it. And so, um, that's why I wanted to wait for this, but it was actually just a fun father-daughter project because Geneva really loves strawberries. And so we're gonna throw these in her garden because she loves going out and just picking strawberries. So I wanna have some for her own to go harvest. And so coming in close, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. It's so unbelievably simple, folks, to get the seeds off the strawberry. And as a fun fact, this might, uh, this might ruffle a few feathers, but biologically, a strawberry is actually considered a vegetable because the seeds are actually on the outside of the, uh, the, what we would consider the fruit. The seeds are on the outside and they're exposed, meaning that this is actually a vegetable, believe it or not. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your strawberries are grown in the US. These come from Florida, and so these will be uh, viable seeds. If they come from out of the country, they will be radiated, meaning that they will not sprout. And what you wanna do is you wanna find a variety that actually has dark to light colored seeds. If the seeds are uh, shriveled, green, or non-existent, they will not sprout. It means that the strawberry was harvested too soon and the seeds will be inviolable. You wanna go with seeds that are, like I said, are dark to um, like a creamy white color. That means that they're going to be viable. And what you wanna do is just take a toothpick and simply poke underneath the seed and lift it out. And they, they tend to be a little embedded in there but you can, you can scoop it out. There we go, there's one. And scoop that out there. And on the, tip of, on the tip of my toothpick, I've got a seed. And all you have to do is just gather those up there, that tiny, tiny, tiny little seed. Gather those up there and put them on a paper towel. What we're going to do is we're simply going to damp this pa dampen this paper towel. So I'm going to go get these seeds off here first. I'm going to put them on the paper towel. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to just spritz it with a little bit of water to get it damp. And then we're going to use the exact same method of the, uh, the stratification process, which is we're going to put this in the fridge for two weeks. And then we're going to pull it out until we see sprouts. And then we're going to remove the sprouts into soil. It's very, very simple. All right, and we're done. I just got all the seeds here 
uh, or not all the seeds, because there's like 200 plus seeds on a strawberry. It's just incredible. I got about 30 seeds that I put on this paper towel here, and I'm just going to damp it till it gets till it gets damp, but not dripping wet. It's very important. I put it inside the Ziploc bag, and how I tell if it's if it's just right is I'll leave the Ziploc bag open. I'll grab both the paper towel and the Ziploc bag so it's upside down with the bottom open, and I'll give it a really good shake. If I don't see any drips at all, but I notice that the paper towel is completely absorbed with water, then I will, uh, then I know that it's adequately moist, but not overly moist. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, seal it off. You wanna seal it off nice and tight so that there's no air getting in to cause evaporation. You want it to be nice and humid. And then we're going to throw it in the fridge for two weeks, pull it out after two weeks, don't wait much longer, they don't need much more. Then you're going to sit them on just a warm countertop or uh, above your fridge, someplace warm, or even on a heat, uh, a, a seedling mat, like a seed starting mat. That's great too. Um, not everyone has them, so just other some warm place that's going to be around 70 degrees or warmer. You're going to throw them there, uh, and preferably also in the dark. Seeds sprout better when they're in the dark as well. And then what you're going to do is simply put it into a growing medium once you see sprouts. After about three months, like I said, they'll look something like this. So if you live someplace warm, do it now. If you don't live someplace warm, maybe wait till spring to try this because uh, it really works. It's a ton of fun, but if your plants are this small and you move them outside, they're just not going to survive. So do with it what you will, but these are uh, definitely going to have to be inside plants because they're just not big enough. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually have to grow these out to see which are actual fruiting ones. So that's the trick with strawberries. Is strawberries are a hybrid, and I want to let everyone know that. It's very important that not all of your strawberries will produce true to type. Some of these strawberries will be nice and large. Other strawberries will be very, very, very small. They'll still be strawberries, but because strawberries are a hybrid, you never know what they were crossed with. And usually it's a, it's a small strawberry that's very vigorous and a larger strawberry that's got size. So you'll either get one or the other. And so it's very important to start multiple plants so that you can have something to choose from. Because as much as I like growing strawberries, I like big ones more than I like small ones. So uh, definitely start more than one for sure. I usually say 10 is a pretty good sample size. And that way when they fruit, the ones that don't really fruit to your liking, you can pull out. And then what's really great, what's really awesome, is once the plants start producing runners, you can then cut the runners and multiply. And so we have a video on that called How to Feed the World with a Single Strawberry Plant. It's just a fun little video we did about multiplying strawberry runners. And it is a ton of fun to, uh, to be able to give your friends and family free plants and that is how you can get your garden started for completely free from store-bought strawberries. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all will try this. And definitely when you try it, let me know in the description or in the comments box below or send us a message over on Facebook. I definitely love hearing back from everyone when we try when you guys try these out. It's just a fun way to get the family involved or just even to get free plants for yourself. And it's a great way to just see the full cycle of a plant growing from start to finish. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe if you have not yet already we're doing videos every single day so there's guaranteed to be something that you love if you enjoyed this video and as always this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel we'll catch y'all later see ya